All right, we're gonna go back with the can so we can get all the excess. Added some frozen pre-cut chicken thighs. All right, I'm gonna leave that right there. Next up, I have some peas and carrots. Mmm, yes. I'm gonna hit that, break it down. Just like that, y'all. Next up, I have some brown gravy mix. This is important because this is going to be the base and what liquid we're gonna put in is gonna make that nice gravy sensation. All right. Next up, I have some chicken stock. I'm going to do two cups of this chicken stock. Just like that. Perfect. Then I have some green onion. Green onion is definitely a, or like you have to inquire the taste. Some people don't even like onions, but people who don't like onions, I always tell them if you put it in the slow cooker, you won't even tell that they are onions because they will cook. I have a little bit of bacon, definitely don't wanna waste anything. So I'm going to open this up. Just a little bacon, if I had more, I trust me, I would. Got some Worcestershire sauce. To be honest, I really don't even know how to say it. Y'all, one, two, Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven Mississippi, eight Mississippi, nine Mississippi, 10 Mississippi. All right, yeah, I really don't know how to say Worcestershire sauce. Maybe I'm saying it the wrong way. We're almost out of minced garlic. That's how much I absolutely love minced garlic. About one tablespoon. All right, now we're going to go ahead and Try to at least mix. I always go from the down up just so we could get everything all mixed together. Again, if you are in a rush and the kids are already in the car and you're trying to make sure that dinner is ready to go when you get back home, to be honest, you don't really have to mix right now. You can mix when um, you get back into the house. So we got all that chicken. All right. Set that to the side. And then I always like to add a little bit of black pepper. It was totally upside down, y'all. I apologize. Nice, good black pepper. And then just to kick it up just a little bit, we are going to use red peppers. Just to give it just a little bit of spice because that gravy is going to definitely put it all together. All right, we're gonna put this lid on. We're gonna leave it at high. And I normally cook mine for about, about four to six hours. Um, but honestly, it will be ready at four. I just like the chicken to be super tender. So I'm gonna leave it at uh, six hours. All right, you guys, it has been a good six hours. And look, it is bubbling. That gravy, mixture that I put in with everything else, it, it's just really come together. Now this could be good over some rice, um, some mashed potatoes. I'm gonna show you the amazingness of this dish. I'm gonna try a little bit of everything. All right, it's hot but I'm ready to go. Mm-hmm. Wow, you guys, this chicken is like fully cooked. I don't know if you guys can see, but after six hours, the chicken is cooked. It is hot. The peas and carrots are on go, and like, honestly, you guys, this is such a delicious dish. If I would have thought about it before I saw it, I would have made some rice, some gravy, something to, because this is liquidy. But you know what? This is gonna be so good. 